welcome to the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon Expo. We're so excited to welcome everybody back to April to what is really the first full strength um, you know, event that we've had here in three years. Because of the work the healthcare workers have done over the last however many months, and we've all quit counting, I think, um, we're here today. And so we just wanted to say thank you to you guys. This is such an important relationship for us. Uh, which also meant that when we went through these last two years, it was so important for us to do anything that we could to help propel the marathon and the expo forward. Travel and competition is inspiring. It connects people, it brings them together, and there's no better place to do that than Oklahoma City. If I didn't compete in this, or at least run in this, um, I don't know, I would, I would probably do those who died a disservice. So this is the rest of the reason why I run. I started racing this back in 2015 when I started racing. So it's helped remember everyone that did lose their life or was injured in the bombing. So it's definitely something special, meaningful. To celebrate life, to celebrate Oklahomans, to um, bring back the enjoyment of being back together and, and celebrate this such a special and, and memorable thing for everybody. So important to us and so important to our family that uh, I just can't imagine not doing it. And the people who come in from other states were just so very grateful, so very thankful. That we they, met, they so we met two guys from Maine this morning. We never want to forget the lives that were lost that day. So we continue to remember and support the families that did lose their loved ones that day. It's been really painful for me to train for it because I've never run that far before in my life, but it's for a good cause. So like my, my pain that I feel in my body, I can dedicate that to the lives that were lost in remembrance of them. What this marathon means for me as a survivor is that it's so great that the whole city has come together to support the Memorial Marathon. It's a way to remember the people who were killed, but it's a way to remember them in a positive way, uh, to uh, remember their lives and to celebrate life. It's probably about my eighth year running the Kids Marathon. I like to run it with my friends, and uh, we learn about uh, a lot about this um, uh, stuff in school every year once it gets close to the running. everyone here, each and every person in this audience, your support for the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon Weekend honors the 168 lives taken in a senseless act of violence. What was meant to tear us apart actually brought us all closer together. Let's thank the 3,000 volunteers that make this weekend possible. OKC, thanks for coming out tonight. What a beautiful night here. We're so happy to bring everybody together. I want to give a special thank you to the marathon team, staff, volunteers, and especially Carrie Watkins, who sent me a text, and, and John Kennedy, board chairman, my personal mentor, great friend, sending us a text and saying, we've got this idea, can you all make it happen in 45 days? And, and here we are, and we're so glad you're here with us tonight. But please get excited and get ready for the Josh Abbott Band. Thank you guys so much.